here it is one more property of fluids capillarity in this video you will be seeing about definitions of capillarity examples in our real lives mathematical approach and some problems let us start with the definition fluid uh, sorry capillarity is the tendency of liquid in a capillary tube or an absorbent material to rise or fall as a result of surface tension so due to surface tension the liquid attains another property which is known as capillarity so general definition what we study every day is this is known as the rise and fall of a liquid surface in a small thin tube when it is immersed in a vertically immersed vertically in a liquid see here is a glass tube and this is a uh, image downloaded from google see here if you immerse the glass tube which is open uh, both the ends then what will happen the water level will rise for uh, thin liquids so the capillary will rise for uh, in the case same case of mercury that will that will be in depression that will go downwards see here illustration one so the capillary let us see the scientific approach later let us see first uh, the real life examples uh, the water can spread through the roots to the all leaves and stems in a tree due to the action of capillarity so the water will be transferred from the roots to the leaves due to capillary action that is one example and another example let us see so if you take two glasses both are one is filled with water one is empty and if you lay some wet a uh, cloth in uh, in both of them like this so the water level will slowly transfer to this and after some time the both levels will be same the cloth immersed in water becomes wet and can shift water from one glass to another due to capillary action technical approach so let us see the images first for water as it is uh, the uh, water has adhesive forces which are greater than the cohesive forces so adhesive forces are actually the forces uh, attractive forces between the same type of molecules whereas adhesive forces are the uh, attractive forces between different types of molecules so if you see fevistic or fevicol whatever it is you can see on that adhesive that means that is a glue and that can be uh, attracted to any type of material for clay for example clay see see the clay all the clay will be moldable and all the molecules in clay are cohesive all the molecules are attracted to each other see the technical approach in this the water which is having a rise of liquid level and for mercury as the mercury has cohesive forces greater than adhesive forces that means even if you immerse a glass tube the mercury molecules will not stick up stick to the glass tube immediately so that this depression happens in case of water that is different Uh, the water molecules will uh, will be attracted very fastly to the glass tube dominating their cohesive forces so that for in case of water the capillary rises there and in case of mercury a fall is there so let us see the same thing the free body diagram and how the forces are acting so this is a meniscus the forces are acting at surface tension which are acting outwards and one more force is acting downwards in the tube that is the weight of the water at this position at the height height level so let us see and the theta is a angle of meniscus with the glass tube or area of the cont uh, uh, sorry angle of contact between the water and glass tube that is theta and see here let uh, theta is a surface tension sorry the sigma is the surface tension theta is the angle of contact between liquid and glass tube here capillary rise let us see first what i said the force due to surface tension should be equal to the weight at this portion so weight of the liquid rise in the glass tube vertical force component of the surface whenever we are taking the force we should not take it inclined as the weight is acting exactly downwards we have to consider the surface tension component of force which is acting vertically upwards so the vertical component shall be sigma pi d cos theta sigma is a surface tension multiplied multiplied by the pi d is nothing but circumference i said in the previous video surface tension is always will be acting at the circumference of the 
tube so that surface tension force shall be surface tension multiplied by the circumstances circumference sigma pi d cos theta is equal to the weight density into volume that is a weight we you know weight density is equal to weight by volume if we want weight of the liquid what we, what should we do weight is equal to weight density into volume w small w is equal to weight by volume weight is equal to small w into volume so small w is nothing but density into acceleration due to gravity into volume is nothing but area into height area of the circular tube is pi d square by 4 h is the rise this is what we are talking about we are talking about the weight of liquid in this portion therefore h is equal to from this above uh, h can be written as like this so after simplifying you will get 4 sigma cos theta by rho g d this so uh, this formula is well suitable for capillary fall also but here the angle of contact is theta in the, this is in this way please look at that nothing will change the angle of contact theta with glass tube for water it is generally taken as 0 degrees for mercury it is 130 to 120 128 to 130 degrees so see here the angle of contact is this theta for the theta this is water 0 degrees and this is 128 to 130 degrees so let us see a problem now calculate the capillary rise in a glass tube of 2.5 mm diameter where immersed in vertically water and mercury take the surface tension sigma is equal to 0.0725 for water and sigma is equal to 0.52 newton per meter for mercury in contact with air the specific gravity of for mercury is given as 13.6 and the angle of contact is 30 130 degrees so whatever the problem may be so we have to first write the given data and next write what they are asking us then uh, write the formula what we have and find out whether we have all parameters or not let us start so in the solution from the question we have the diameter d is 2.5 mm i convert into meter 0.02025 mm meter sigma water that is surface tension of water 0.0725 newton per meter surface tension of mercury 0.52 newton per meter and specific gravity of mercury was given as 13.6 specific gravity can be written as specific gravity of the liquid that is mercury by specific gravity of standard liquid that is water then i can write it as specific gravity of mercury shall be equal to 13.6 into rho water so rho mercury is 13.6 rho water it is a standard value 1000 kg per meter cube that is the density of water that is 13600 kg per meter cube and angle of contact no need to tell um, sp specifically that is the angle of contact for water is 0 degrees so for mercury it is 130 degrees as given in the question and they are asking for a, uh, the, they are asking for capillary rise in glass tube in water and mercury let us see for first water the formula we have is 4 sigma cos theta by rho gt let us substitute all the values what we have for the surface tension of water is given as 0.0725 cos theta is 0 and rho of, of water is 1000 kg per meter cube g is acceleration due to gravity it is always constant 9.81 meter per second square and d is the diameter of glass tube we have 25 mm that is nothing but 0.0025 meter so if you calculate this the height rise is 11.8 mm or 0.0118 meter for mercury let us calculate h is equal to the same formula can be applicable and now substitute all the values for in the place of 4 4 and sigma for mercury as they have given in the question it is 0.52 theta is 130 degrees rho of dense uh, rho of mercury is 13600 this is not uh, the triple zero this is 13600 that's it please cut this g is acceleration due to gravity 9.81 and the d is 0.0025 meter and you get minus 0.004 meter or 4 mm so now this is your assignment you have to work on it uh, calculate the capillary rise in a glass tube of 3 uh, mm diameter when the immersed vertically in water and mercury takes surface tension of mercury of, of and water as 0.0725 newton per meter 0.52 newton per meter respectively in contact with a specific gravity of mercury is given as 13.6 the same the same thing was given but only diameter was changed please try this the answers were given in the question thank you